Coinciding with the release of Adobe Captivate 2017 Update 1, several of the popular browsers have updated the security settings within the browser to prevent e-learning and other such uh, multimedia from running automatically. And because of this, uh, even with uh, Adobe Captivate set to autoplay, uh, people are still seeing this play button, which they find kind of annoying. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have a very simple project here, and if I preview this project in a browser, uh, what we'll see is a slide that's not part of the slides you see here. Instead, this introductory blank slide appears with a play button right in the middle. The purpose of this is to prevent media from running automatically in users' browsers, but obviously it interferes with e-learning as well. So here's the solution that uh, really doesn't fix the problem, but what it does is it can make it a little bit more appealing. So when you go into your Preferences window, or Shift F8 if you will, you can actually uh, change this from Auto Play uh, incidentally, if you click on this icon, you can learn additional information about why Captivate Responsive Courses will not autoplay on browsers. Useful information. But we can uncheck this and instead browse to an image of our choosing and then select OK. And let's see what happens when we preview this. So as you can see, that's a little bit more functional. I created an image that was the same size as my largest project size, added some text, welcome to getting started with Adobe Captivate, and also put the word start right next to the start button so that it's clear for users what they need to do. Now this is fantastic, but I'm still not a big fan of this start button here. So I'm gonna show you one more trick that you can use to improve upon this as well. Let's close this window, return back to Adobe Captivate. In fact, I'm going to exit from the program just to be sure. And then I'm going to navigate to a location on my hard drive where I have um, found within Adobe Captivate. If you go to your uh, C drive under Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Captivate 2017 X64 in a subfolder called HTML, the Assets folder, and then the HTML images, you'll see all of these images that are actually used throughout your Adobe Captivate projects. Uh, there's the play icon. I've selected it there. So I've created my own play icon, just something uh, different. Of course, you can choose your own or create your own. I actually took the icon from this folder here and uh, loaded it in Photoshop, made some changes so that it was to my liking. I'm going to paste this now. Now it's going to prompt me to, uh, uh, to confirm that I wish to do this, of course, because these are, uh, this is a folder within some of the system um, folders on my hard drive. So now it's there. Let's open up that same project again. And now let's preview it with the new background and the new start button. So now we have something that looks more intentional. I kind of like this start button, uh, mostly because it's a solid image. We're not seeing a transparency through it. Looks very clear. Uh, and of course, now it's very obvious what the user needs to do. In fact, I could go so far as to probably even replace my first slide with that introductory slide. There won't be features like uh, audio narration or anything like that, uh, but maybe this title slide does isn't actually needed at all. And you could go with just the uh, just this regular startup screen with the play button right in the middle there. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.